All right, so in this video, you're going to learn how you can add your Flipgrid activity into Microsoft Teams. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. One is you can simply go right to Microsoft Teams, and at the top of your team, you're going to see the plus button here. We're going to click this to add a tab, and then you'll find Flipgrid in here. If you don't see it right away, you can simply search it up here. So then you're going to click on Flipgrid, and then you're going to click Add to add in this Flipgrid tool. Now here it's asking you for a Flipgrid code or URL. So what you could do at this point is either go here to Educator Login to log into Flipgrid, or in my case I've already got it open, so I'm going to go to my browser and I'm going to get the share link. So in this case, I have a brand new topic that I would like to uh, add in my team. Obviously I could go here to add new topic and create one from scratch, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. I'm gonna click on share and I'm going to get the link right here and copy this. And now I'm gonna go back to Teams and I'm gonna paste this link in here. And it's going to search for it, and excellent. They found it. It's ready to go. Click Save to add to your channel. Optionally, you can check this box to post it to the channel uh, posts area. Uh, I'm going to uncheck that for now, and I'm going to click Save. So now you're going to see up here at the top, I have a new tab. And when, when this tab is clicked, the Flipgrid uh, activity loads. And then my students would simply click log in with Microsoft here. Now, one thing about this tab is it, it actually pasted the URL in here, which is kind of messy. So I'm going to rename this. I'm just going to click the drop down here and I'm going to go to rename. And I'm just going to call this Flipgrid response and save it. So now it's much cleaner. It says Flipgrid response. And in my instructions, I can tell students. Uh, click the Flipgrid response tab at the top of our team to do your activity. Now, another way to do this is to actually make it an assignment. Now, when you go to your assignments area in your team uh, and you click create, there's actually, it, there isn't a create um, Flipgrid assignment in here. But what you can do is from the Flipgrid website, so I'm going to go back to my Flipgrid website. And so here's the same topic that I created. I'm going to click share. And this time I'm going to click the Teams icon right here. This will connect it right to my Microsoft Teams account. And so here it says share to Microsoft Teams. I want to share to a channel or I want to create an assignment. So I can click create an assignment. I can uh, assign it to the right class. In this case, it's the teaching with technology class. There it is. And I'm going to give it a title. So this was about digital collaboration. And I can add instructions. I can give it a point value if I'd like, set a due date and time. And here's the link already dropped in right to the activity. So I'm going to click Assign. And I am done. My assignment's been created. Close. So now let's go back to my team. And let's refresh assignments here. And we are going to see a brand new assignment called Digital Collaboration. This is the... Flipgrid assignment, and if I go to student view, we can see as a student, they'll see this and they'll just click flipgrid.com to get into the activity. And that's how you integrate Flipgrid into Microsoft Teams.